Did you know that vowels and consonants are extremely important in the journey of learning the Finnish language? Welcome to Finnish with Sean. Here, I will be your companion on your journey of learning Finnish. If you're new here, please make sure to click on the subscription button and leave a comment. Finnish words are pronounced almost exactly as they are written. There is almost one-to-one -one balance between letters and sounds. All the vowels and almost all the consonants can be either short or long. The difference between a short sound and a long sound is significant. A short sound is written with a single letter and a double sound with a double letter. Finnish has 13 consonants and 8 vowels. All right then, we're going to be checking out the different short and long sounds, starting off with the vowels, and right with the first one, the letter A, which in Finnish would go A. A. So, with an A, the short sound would go like in the Finnish word for help, apua. Apua. It just goes like that, apua, straight away. If you want to go with the long sound of A, like with the Finnish example of morning, that would be amu. Amu. Okay? That's when you've written it with two A's and it goes a little bit longer than it goes with just one. In, and as far as how the sound, if you want to use an example of how the A sounds, think of the word car. Car. The A in car sounds the same as it almost always does in Finnish. Car. Ah, car. And then we'll be moving on with the next letter, the next vowel, E, which in Finnish goes like E. It goes like E. Right? Like it does with the Finnish word for uncle, Seta. That is when it goes with a short sound, Seta. Just one E. Seta. It goes just straight away, like with the previous one, Seta. Now with the long sound, you want to use the example of the Finnish word for T. Te. Te. Again, it's the same letter except it's just a little bit longer. Te. And if you want an example in the English word that sounds similar, think of the word let. E in let goes the same way as it does in Finnish, almost always. Let. Let. E. Let. All right. Moving on to the next vowel, I, which in Finnish goes like E. It goes like E. The short sound of E, like with the Finnish word for happy, iloinen. Iloinen. It goes straight away, just iloinen. I, iloinen. Straight to the L. Now, if you want to use the example of a long sound, there is a first name for a Finnish woman, Tina. Tina elongates. It goes a little bit longer. Tina. If you want to use an example in English of how it sounds, think of the word sit. The I in sit goes exactly as it does in Finnish almost always. Sit. Sit. E sit. Here we go. Moving on. We'll be getting to the next vowel, the letter O, going like O. It goes like O. All of these pronunciations we've been through in the previous videos, so if you want to have a look at that, feel free. 
Now a short sound for the word door. Um, the Finnish word for door would be an example of a short sound for O. Ovi. He goes straight away. Short sound, single letter, Ovi. Ovi. For an example of a long sound, you think of the Finnish word for opera. 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 Again. Double the O's, double the length. Opera. Here we go. Oh, and of course, um, if you want an example of the letter O in Finnish that sounds similar as it does in English, think of the word OR. You know, like either OR. The letter O in OR goes exactly as it does in Finnish. OR. Or. Moving on, the next vowel coming up, the letter U, which goes like O. It goes like O. The short sound for U would be like, for Finnish word of dream, uni. Yep, it goes like uni. Single letter, straight away, uni. Uni. Now, here's the interesting part. A long sound of that would be if you take the same word but and add an extra U and it changes its meaning totally. Going like uni. Two U's. Uni. And that in English means oven. So be mindful of that. And if you want an example of an English word with the same kind of sound, Think of the word book. Even though it's written with two O's, just focus on the pronunciation of book. 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 Because that sound is the same one as it is in Finnish. Right. Moving on. The letter Y, the vowel Y, goes like U. It goes like U. The short sound for Y or U as it would be in the Finnish word for cough, uskia. Single Y, go straight away, uskia. Uskia. Alright? The long sound for U would be like, well, like with the Finnish word for style, duuli. Duuli. Again, it just, it's a little bit longer. Duuli, with two Ys. And, unfortunately, I couldn't really think of any example of an English word that would have the similar kind of sound with Y in Finnish. So, if you just keep practicing with how you're listening it to when I say it, I think you'll be just fine. Coming up, we've got our own very special vowels. In Finnish, A. This is very unique to us, the letter A. The A with double dots. If you want a short sound for A, it's like the Finnish word for don't. Alla. Alla. Go straight away. Alla. The long sound for A would go like, like with the Finnish word for sound. Addy. Addy. It just elongates a little bit. Addy. There you go. With an example in English, this is surprisingly easy. Uh, just think of the word like cat. The letter A in the word cat sounds exactly the same as the letter A does in Finnish. Just imagine the word cat. Cat. A cat. Cat. There you go. Moving on. The letter E. Another one of our own special word letters. E. The letter O with the double dots on top. E. A short sound would be like the Finnish word for oil. Ölju. Straight away, single letter. 
Ölyü. Ölyü. A long sound example of that would be like with the Finnish word for engineer. Insinöri. Insinöri. That's where you have the double ös all together and it goes sound insinöri. And if you want a surprisingly easy uh, way to learn how to pronounce this special letter, just think of the word early. Early. Like in English, early. And there you have the beginning of that word early is pronounced exactly the same as it does in the letter ö. Early. Ö. Early. Next, we'll be moving on towards the consonants, starting off with the first one, the letter D, which goes like DE. DE. Just like we exam examined in the previous video. Now, the short sound for uh, the letter D, IDE, would be like with the Finnish word for bandage, SIDE. SIDE. Just single D, SIDE. And it goes right away. SIDE. A long sound of that would be like with the Finnish word for addiction, ADDICTIO. ADDICTIO. Now here's the trick. When it comes to most of the consonants, you need to have a tiny little break before you say the rest of the word. Like with the, the word addiction, in English you say addiction. There's a small pause. It's exactly the same as in Finnish. Addictio. Addictio. This might be a little bit harder, but with a little bit of practice, you'll get the hang of it. And if you want to think of a, an example of an English word where the D sounds exactly the same, think of the word deck. Deck. It's exactly like that. The next consonant would be the letter H, which goes like haw. It goes like haw. A short sound version of that, like, would be with the example of the English word for skirt, hame, hame, just single H, hame, hame, it goes straight away. Now, this is an interesting example because there are not many examples in the Finnish library where two H's would be right next to each other, except for the word that I could find Hihuli. Hihuli. Which is the Finnish word for holy roller. But this is one of those more obscure examples. So you don't have to worry about that one. And as example for an English word with the letter H sounding the same. Think of the word home. Home. Sounds exactly as it does there, as it does in Finnish. H home. The next consonant coming up would be the letter J, which in Finnish goes like ye. Ye. Almost from the back of your throat. Ye. The short sound for J would be like the Finnish word for Christmas. Yolo. YOLO With a single J, just YOLO The Finnish word for Christmas Now, when it came to, once again uh, Examples of Finnish words with double J's Unfortunately, I couldn't find any But I did find the word LEIA Which kind of has a longer sound to it than normally, leia. And it doesn't need to be um, an example with double the letters, it can also just sound longer, depending on the word. And this is the exception and not the rule, so don't worry about it. 
For an English word example that sounds similar, think of the word yes. Yes. The beginning of that word sounds exactly like it does with the letter J in Finnish. Yes. Now, the consonant K, which goes like go, go, just straight away, go, explosive. A short sound for the letter K would be like the Finnish word for who, kuka, 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 just straight away, kuka. Now, the interesting thing, again, if you just add an extra K in front of the next K in the word kuka, you get the word kuka, which is the long sound of two Ks together, kuka. Like it's the Finnish word for flower. And again, you just need to have a little bit of a pause when it comes to that word and those two letters together. Kukka. It's all about pauses when it comes to consonants. Most of the time. And think of the word, English word like kit. And you get the same idea of how you pronounce K in Finnish too. Kit. The next consonant... The letter M, which in Finnish goes like am, am. The short sound of that would be like with a Finnish word for I or me, which is the same in Finnish. Mina. Mina. The long sound of that would be with two M's together. Mummo. Mummo which is the Finnish word for grandma. And with M, it's a little bit more interesting because there you don't have that much of a pause as you do just elongate the sound of M. Mm, like with the word mummo. Mummo. Those are one of those exceptions or how you would go like with the letter N or M. Next up is the letter N, which in Finnish goes like AN. It goes like AN. The short sound of that would be like with the Finnish word for nose. NENA. NENA. Go straight away, nothing too big. Then when it comes to the long sound of N, like with the Finnish word for TO GO. MEN. Men. Just like with the letter M, there isn't a pause as much as there is just a longer version of the sound. Men. Men. Right? And with an English word, for example, how you pronounce the N letter, think of the English word not. Just like, I'm not going to do that. It goes the same way as it does there. Moving on, we've got a couple of interesting examples with the consonants NG, that's N and G together, and NK, that's the letters N and K together. The short version of that in a sentence, I mean, in a letter, would be like, like with the Finnish word for shoe, kenka, kenka. The N and K kind of mush together into the k, n, k sound. Genga. And if you want a long sound, it changes from N K to N G. Like when you take the word shoe in Finnish and make it plural, shoes, it becomes gangat. Gangat. You notice the difference? Genga. Gangat. Just to point out how they're different from each other. And if you're having problems with how to pronounce it, then when it comes to the NG part, think of the word in English sing. Like singing. Just sing. The NG in that sounds exactly the same as it does in Finnish. Good. Next one coming up, the letter P which in Finnish goes like P. It goes like P. 
The short sound of that would be like with the Finnish word for help, it would be apua. Apua. It kind of like pops. Just directly with one letter, apua. Now with the long sound, like two words together, it would be like with the Finnish word for priest, poppi. Poppi. Two P's together, poppi. Now with the letter P, it's one of those consonants that has a tiny pause in between the consonants themselves. And you can hear it properly too, poppi. Just a tiny one. With a little practice, you'll get the timing down eventually. And for an example in English, for the letter P, think of the word pet. It sounds exactly there, the same as it does in Finnish. Pet. Puppy. Okay. Next one, the letter R, which in Finnish goes like R. It goes like R. It really rolls in front of your mouth. Now, the short sound for the letter R, like with the Finnish word for money, would be like Raha. Raha. Just one R, and the R isn't too long, it just goes Raha. Alright? The long sound of that would be like for, with the Finnish word for November, Marrasku. Marrasku. The R is one of those consonants that is just elongates a little bit. It's a little bit longer. You just roll the R's just for a tiny second longer than if it was just one letter. Marrasku. Marrasku. There. And it sounds exactly the same as it does in the letter red. Except with a slight difference that it rolls easier from the front of your mouth. Like if you say the word red in Finnish, it would be like red. Alright? The next consonant, the letter S. Or as it does in Finnish, S. It goes like S. Again from the front of your mouth. The short sum of that would be like a pussy. Which is a Finnish first name for a gentleman. Pussy. But it's just a single S, it just goes S, pussy, just straight away. Then, if you have a long sound version of that, you can take the name pussy, just add an extra S next to the first one, and you'd get a whole different word, pussy. Pussy. Which is the Finnish word for passport. And with there, you have the same, you just say passi. It elongates, it goes a little bit longer than with just um, a singular one. Like with the example uni and uni, uh, importing or taking away just one single letter can hugely change the meaning between Finnish words. So that's important. If you want an example in English where the S sounds the same as it does in Finnish. Think of the word sit. Sit, like sitting down. It sounds the same. Next up, the consonant T, which in Finnish goes like te. Te. With a short sound of that would be like for the Finnish word of match or a matchstick, the Finnish would be Tulipikku. Tulipikku. With a single T at the beginning, it just goes tulipikku. Just like that. The long sound with two T's would go like with the Finnish word for girl. Tyttö. Tyttö. Again, one of those consonants that has a tiny pause in the middle. Tyttö. The Finnish word for girl. Tutte. In the English word, where it would sound the similar, it would be like the Finnish word, uh, sorry, English word tell. 
It's exactly the same there as it is in Finnish. Tell. Tell. Moving on, the letter V, which in Finnish goes like V. V. All right. The short sound for V, like with the image of, for the Finnish word of an image, it would be kuva. Kuva. All right. It also has the meaning of picture, but image is more commonly used. With a single V, kuva. A long sound would be like with the Finnish word for baby, vauva. Vauva. This is one of those exceptions where you don't write another V next to the V in order to have it sound longer. Even though you do say it longer, valva. It's just is those exceptions that you really have to look for and uh, really, really be careful if you want to get it correctly. In the Finnish word, uh, an example in English that sounds the same as it does in English, vice. Vice. The V in there sounds the same as it does in Finnish. Please stick to the end of the video because I would be sharing with other consonants from English which is also used in Finnish. And please also give examples of the vowels and consonants. That is the question of the day. All right, now we'll be moving on to the other Finnish consonants that are also used in the English alphabet. Starting off with the first one, the letter B, which in English Finnish goes like B. It goes like B. The short sound of that would be like with the Finnish word for banana, banani. It goes like banani, just straight away. Now with the long sound, with two Bs together, like for the Finnish word for lobbying, would be lobbaus. It's one of those ones that has a tiny pause. Lobbaus. All right. Now the English word example that you can use is quite easy for this one because the letter B in banana goes exactly the same as it does in Finnish. Banani. So they're pretty interchangeable that way. Moving on to the next one, we've got the letter C which in Finnish goes like se. It goes like se. Now then, for an example of a short sound with the letter C or se, like with the Finnish word for degree Celsius, it goes like Celsius aste. <clears throat> C kind of really sizzles and there's a long sound to it. Celsius aste. Celsius aste. Right? Now, a long sound version of that would be like with the word for disco, which is actually almost the same as with Finnish. It just goes disco. Disco. So you don't have to worry about that because it's one of those ones that aren't that commonly used. And if you want to think of an English word that has a similar sound to it, center. The C in that one goes the same as it does in Finnish. Center. This is going to be the case with a lot of these because they come directly from the English language. All right, the next one, the letter F. Remember, it goes like F. The letter F goes like F. The short sum of that would be like for the Finnish word of pharaoh, going like faro. It goes like faro. All right, moving on with the long sound of F in a word with two F's back to back would be Muffini, which is the Finnish word for muffin. 
Muffini. Muffini. And if you want an English word with the same letter sound, just look at the word fish. The letter F in that goes the same as it does in Finnish. Good. The next one coming up, the letter G, which in Finnish goes like G. All right, the letter G in Finnish goes like G. It goes like G. The short sound of that, like with the Finnish word for gorilla, gorilla. It goes like gorilla. Just straightforward. And interesting fact, the word gorilla in Finnish is written exactly the same as it is in English. G-O-R-I-L-L-A. The pronunciation is just slightly different. The long sound of the letter G would be like get, all right, like get, because there's a kind of a longer pause in the middle there, all right? Other than that, there's not that many English ex Finnish examples that have that sound, so don't worry about it. Next up, the letter Q, which in Finnish goes like ku. The letter Q goes like ku. Now a short sound of that in Finnish, like for the Finnish word of a Katari, a person from Qatar, Katarilainen. It goes like Katarilainen. Very similar to the letter K, just Katarilainen. There isn't really a long sound version of that. It's one of those examples that doesn't have a long sound to it. So if you want an example of how it would be sounding in English, just think of the word kit again. Just kit. It sounds very similar to that as it does in Finnish. Now, the letter W, which in Finnish would go like kaksoisve. It goes like kaksoisve. That's the way it's written, but you're really just saying it with va, ve. The short sound, for example, like with the Finnish word for what, vatti, vatti, which is the measurement of uh, something. There isn't another one of those that doesn't have a long sound to it, so. Just an example in English that sounds very similar, vice, vice, and that's how you get the W sound. Next up, coming up, is the letter X. The letter X, which in Finnish goes like X. It goes like X. And the short sound version of that, like with the Finnish word for Luxembourgian would be like Luxemburgilainen. Luxemburgilainen. Now I know that's a mouthful, but just focus on the X and how that sound. Luxem. Luxem. And another one of those that doesn't have a long sound version to it. So just think of the word in English, taxi, of how the letter X sounds in Finnish. It sounds the same. Taxi. Taxi. The next letter, the letter Z in English, goes like zeta in Finnish. Zeta. And that's how it goes. The short sound for the letter Z, like with the Finnish word for zenith, goes like zeni. It goes like zeniti. Now, the long sound of that, which is a pretty common word I think we all know, pizza. Pizza. And another interesting fact, the word pizza, you can either write it P-I-Z-Z-A or P-I-T-S-A. 
in Finnish. Either of those versions are correct. So you don't have to feel bad about that. And if you're worrying about how to pronounce that in like an English word of that would be again pizza because it's exactly the same. Please, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, share, leave a comment and hit on the notification button to be the first to know when a new video is dropped. In our next video, we can go and look at the diphthongs, world stress and intonation. Like I mean.